Hello, it's Nafiz here from Techie Nafiz. Hope you all doing good. Today, I'm gonna give you a few tips over in Audacity. This video will help you how to use one of those normal budget mics or it'd be a headphone mic to make your voice sound even better. Really good quality. Particularly if you're doing voiceovers or any kind of voice work and you want to sound great. Voiceover in this video was recorded from an earphone mic. Hashtag struggle. A few tips on Audacity for you right now. <laughs> I thought it was time to give you a little experience as to how it might work inside Audacity. The same secret source inside Audacity, let's hit record. Hello 1, 2, 3, this is Tegi doing a quick voiceover, how does it sound? Okay, that is nicely recorded in a mono track in Audacity, not recording in stereo. Don't want to waste too much space, so very simply I'll use my E and C and secret source to make the voice sound better. E for EQ, N for normalize, C for compress, N for normalize again. So the first thing we want to do is remove all the background noises coming in. For that, you need to select the part where only the background noise could be heard and nothing else. Then, go to effects, noise reduction and get noise profile. Now simply select the whole audio clip and go to effects, noise reduction and then adjust these. You can copy my settings for better results. Now after it's done, hit OK. Now let's give it a preview. Hello 123, this is Tegi doing a quick voiceover, how does it sound? As you can hear, the background noises are reduced to some extent and the clip sounds better than before. Now add a little bit of EQ effect. For this, we'll go to filter curve. Now this feature is great, you can sort of drag it up and down, that's the line that you can play with. So first of all, going to do something very simple. Now here you can either take help of the presets and adjust it or set it manually. For making it simpler, I'll be going for the presets. So here, click on manage, factory presets and choose bass boost. Adjust the highs and lows as you wish your bass to be. You can copy mine if you feel to get similar results. Now to listen back, I need to click preview. Hello 123, this is Tegi doing a quick voiceover, how does it sound? If everything feels good, hit OK. Now for the treble boost, adjust it as your voice. Finally, click OK to add a little bit of EQ. So just a simple high and low boost there, that's the EQ. Then I would normalize it. Now to do that in Audacity, you simply go to normalize. By default, it will amplify your audio to hit minus 1 dB. That is absolutely fine. You don't want to peak over minus 1 dB and you don't want to reduce it because otherwise it's not going to do too much. Hello 123, this is Tegi doing a quick voiceover, how does it sound? Which is great, so it's ready for compression. This is where we use the compressor. Now you can play with this default settings, but here I recommend you to follow the same as mine so you get the best output. Let's see how it sounds after this. Hello 123, this is Tegi doing a quick voiceover, how does it sound? There you go, see it fallen up the voice. Now I'm just going to reduce the volume of that because it is a little bit noisy. So we'll go into the effects menu again, choose amplify and I'll take it down by minus 3 dB so I get some headroom to work with. Hello 123, this is Tegi doing a quick voiceover, how does it sound? So you see how really easily inside Audacity you can just use a few effects, EQ normalization and compression to make your voice sound better. So if you have any queries you can put them in the comments below. Subscribe my channel and give a like if this made your life simpler. This is Tekina Fees, I'll catch you on the next one. Till then, goodbye.